Target Field. The Rangers battle the Twins. Next. Outdoor baseball now from the Warehouse District and Target Field here in downtown Minneapolis. Today, the opener of this four-game series between the Rangers and the Minnesota Twins. On his way into the box, there's a look at Shinsu Chu, so that means we are ready to get this one underway. Now Chu swings and lifts a high fly ball out to deep right field. And that is into the right field seats. It's a home run. Boy, I've heard of a quick strike offense, but they don't come any quicker than this. One pitch into the ball game, and it's already 1-0. Now a ground ball towards the hole. On to first, and the Rangers squander a good opportunity to the plate. An easy take there, and it's 3-1 and one now. And boy, this is exactly how you want your leadoff hitter to approach. Down the left field line. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Ball three. Three and two now. Well, that's an opportunity wasted on the mound there. Now, a hitter's got to be defensive on two and two, but that was so far outside. He didn't even have to worry about chasing. The play. And a slider. Ho oh, got a favorable call. Chris Herman. We'll see if he can have better luck here with runners still at second and third with one man out now. Martin is there, and he puts this one away for the third. Shin Su Chu. Ready to go here as we begin the third. Left fielder, Shin Su Chu. Now he spins on a fastball here and drives one to deep right field. And that will find the seats. A home run. Not to give up yet another home run here in this inning. So you can see they're approaching with caution here. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Joe Maurer will get an opportunity here in a run scoring spot now, following the two out double. Therefore, it is pro far, and Jurickson has it to retire. Daniel Murphy will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Right fielder, Daniel Murphy. Oh, and this one is hit a ton out to center. Racing back the center fielder. And now he has some trouble with it in center. Around second. He'll try for third. And he... Now a sharply hit ball back up the middle. And a base hit, and that'll get the run in from third. Here's a bouncing ball sent back up the middle, and it's going to find its way into center, his second hit of the afternoon. And that's going to be all for his starter, Kevin Correa. So he will curiously make his way to the duck. Cecil is going to come on and make an appearance here, though I J. Pierre and Sebia will stand in. He grounded out his first time. And this is on the ground toward the hole. Oh, look at this. The Dozier for one. On to Maurer. It's a double play, and that ends the... Velocity ...here at the last two pitches. Three and two now. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk. It's back to even two and two. Yeah, looked like he guessed right on two and one. That was a good... ...and a strike. Gets under this one as this is hit high and pretty deep out there to center field. Martin will get there, and he puts it away. Swing and a tapper out in front. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Point. Yeah, they pretty much had to sit on their hands all afternoon. Not a lot to get excited about so far. 
And I think that's a credit to that man out there on the mound. He's cut right through this lineup for the first four innings. Got a good hitter's count here, 2-0. and oh. And he takes ball four, so a good job out of an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to 3-1. and one. And he takes ball four, so now because he'll try to work his way back, it's 3-1. and one. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full, 3-2. and two. Taken again on 3-1. and one. He's trying to get that RBI the easy way. Barely able to foul it away. Uh, he goes after the pitch on the outer half and pops it weakly toward the left side of the infield. Hit on the ground towards first. And Maurer will step on the bag at first, and that ends. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Fastball at the letters, and he turns on it, hits it high and deep out to center field. And that's going to land out toward the wall out there. Might be the most talented guy on the field, but he'll grind you up there. This is hit hard and over the head of Beltre at third. It's a fair ball. And the second run will score as that evens things. As he quickly finds himself down a strike, it's 0-1. Swing and he pulls the fastball that time. High in the air toward fairly deep right center. Martin is going to have room out there as he puts this away. Oh, no. On a big swing there at a fastball, and he really got into it high and deep to left center field. And this is going to get down for what should be extra bases. And there's your potential second base. And he gets some pretty good wood on it here as this is lifted to fairly deep left. And now he has some trouble with it in left. And the go-ahead run will score from second as they've taken the lead here in the late going. Yeah, and even though this bounces over the wall, I don't think it would have made any difference one way or the other. I kind of doubt he would have been thinking about going for three, and the runner was going to score anyway without a problem. Casey Fien is on to work as he'll take over here in the eighth. Adrian Beltre will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be doing so with the runner in scoring position and still nobody out. And there's a fastball that's hammered the other way to deep right field. And that is down as that could be two bases. And a big RBI there as the run. Keeping him close there at second. Now the pitch. And now here's a swing and a ground ball to third. Throw on to first. Gets him and the side is retired. At 94 for strike one. Now he takes something off there as this is skied out to fairly deep center field. Martin is there, and quickly two are gone here, and it's not looking good for the home nine. Trevor Plouffe is the last chance now with two out here in the ninth. Oh, and he runs up and gets a good one down. Barehanded by Beltre. On the fielder, and that's a wrap. This ball game is over. Yeah, you know, it's always a plus to get that first one under your belt when you start a four-game series on the road. So it's a good job here to finish this one off and claim the victory in the opener. Before we take our leave, time for a look shot of that. He's our tops player of the game. The yeah, he connected on a couple of long home runs. Time of the ball. 